Fleming, now you and I just left a packed theater where President Michael Bailey and Vicki Freed answered a lot of questions from the advisors in the room. And without exception, um, these advisors would start their question with, the ship is amazing. And that is a big comment to make, right? So I want to know if you would say the same thing, the ship is amazing and why? I have to say, being on this ship, I was on the Odyssey class, which is about 25% smaller, and that was massive. Right. When I came onto the Icon, one of the things that I thought was, you know what, there's going to be too big, 25% bigger than the other one, and I tell you, it's all so beautiful. It's quaint, it's small. Even though you're with 5,500 of your best friends, you wouldn't know it. You never run into them. We went to the Empire restaurant yesterday, which was amazing. And it was the first time I've ever had actual drink pairing, not wine pairing, but drink pairings for every eight course meal. It was just phenomenal. It's like a speakeasy. And I have to say, I popped in a little bit uh, with the music and the singer and, and, and the whole atmosphere. It was, it was really, really adorable. Very, very pleasant. I ate at Chops, which of course is always amazing. Central Park. Now they've added um, these beautiful shutters and the coloring. Uh, you know, I mean, the whole ship, I... I Huge ships are not necessarily something that I, you know, aspire to. But as you said, I don't find that I don't notice it at all. And you know what's funny? When we were driving along um, in the Uber and I said, oh, there it is. I was expecting something massive and it isn't. It's beautifully designed. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And something interesting about this, I don't know if you noticed, but the windows, they actually come down. Yeah. So it's very different. So you don't lose that space in the balcony. So these used to be inside balcony and now the windows come down. So you have all that extra space and you still get the opening. Yeah. It's just so well thought out. Fleming, I want to ask you, advisors, do advisors have the power to move bookings to a ship like this? I'm, I'm very interested to understand the role they play nowadays. Well, I think they, they have a lot of power. I think that the internet is so overwhelming sometimes that what you read and what you see on the internet, you don't know what's true anymore. And AI is not something that I'm going, oh my goodness, it's going to stop. Right. In fact, when the internet came out to begin with, some of us were around, uh, you know, we were all worried that that was going to hurt and it didn't. In fact, it became the opposite because there's too much. I, I do believe that Royal Caribbean did a great job with social media. Even my daughter, who's got a, 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 th a three-year-old, almost three, and another baby on the way, she wants to come on this because she's seen the interesting options available, the, the family suites, but also something I think that they said in that meeting today was they're charging for this. This is not, not the least expensive because the demand is there. And to be honest, the restaurant we were in last night is booked up for five weeks. It's booked up. So the demand is here. So you're going to pay for it, but it is worth the money. Yeah, no, there's a lot of extras that you don't realize. All of the technology, all of the planning, all of the design uh, that has gone into this is really quite extraordinary. So I agree with you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. And it's always nice to see you, even if it's not on your couch. Do you know that we've, we've sailed on Oasis and Allure together? And now we're on Icon. I know. We're iconic. We're iconic. <laughs>